before you say anything, I am well aware that this sweater is supposed to be pink. Gravity Falls is an American animated television series created by Alex Hirsch and produced by the Disney Channel. The show follows twins Dipper and Mabel Pines as they spend the summer with their grunkle Stan in the mysterious town of Gravity Falls, Oregon. I was personally a very late fan to Gravity Falls. I actually only watched it this year, mostly because I didn't have the Disney Channel growing up and also mostly because I'm 20 years old and thought it was a show for children. Anyways, I am a huge fan of this show and I thought that a Gravity Falls build would be a great way to kick off October. You know, Halloween month. So today we are going to be building tiny homes for Dipper and Mabel Pines. In The Sims 4, obviously, we have to build in the destination world Granite Falls, which I only recently realized that is 100% a play on Gravity Falls. We're not going to talk about how long it took me to figure that one out. I think I want to build on the Granite Falls forest lot because I think it's just going to be the best. It's the most like in the forest. And I don't want it to feel super residential. I want it to feel very foresty, this build. Let's bulldoze this whole lot here. I have some inspiration here. And by inspiration, I mean, I looked up cabin townhouse. <laughs> I want to do kind of like a duplex thing. I think I kind of like the idea of something like this, but like split in two. You know what I'm saying? Let's just start. I'm going to try to build off the dome today. We got a little bit of inspiration. Let's try to put my brain to work here. First things first, let's create a rectangle. I feel like that's probably good. It's 16 tiles. So that means that we can split it evenly down the middle here. Okay, good so far. And then I think a second tier would be a good idea. Maybe much farther back. Maybe actually I'll scoot it in more. I feel like it needs to be a little smaller. Okay. We've got this kind of like weird rectangle shape. I'm also just going to put this here so I can remember where the split is. So now let me throw a roof across like so. And then maybe we do two gabled roofs here. I feel like it needs to be a little skinnier. Like so far, not bad, but also maybe I don't love it. Yeah, I feel like it needs to be a bit smaller. At least this top part does. It doesn't need to be a ginormous build. I always make my builds a little too big probably, so I'm trying to make them a little smaller today. I don't mind this shell so far. I feel like raising it up on a little bit of a platform would probably be a good idea. We can probably remove this wall here. Let me change around the roof here. I think I want this side to not have this little like cross overlap, so I'm gonna bring in this one side and how to do just one side on the roof by doing this here. You can just grab this arrow and press shift and then it'll only do the one side, which is perfect for making a little custom roof thing like this. I actually really like how this is looking so far. I feel like a deck could be cool or a porch. What's the difference between a deck and a porch though? Like for real, like what is the actual difference? Cause I feel like there's not one. Now it makes me want to add more of a cover and that obviously looks terrible. We could also take some inspiration from the mystery shop the mystery shack is like this kind of a-line house or i guess it is a cabin it's a shack if you will it looks very much so like a store so i don't know taking inspiration from it might be not the best idea but maybe like aesthetic wise we can take inspiration from it maybe we can raise up these roofs make them a little bit more pointy and a little bit more long at least on the one side honestly i feel like that's probably as long as it should be i kind of like this shell a little bit more i feel like it looks a little bit more funky which i like Back to trying to give this place a deck. We could just do a small one. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. We'll just stick with that for now. And I'm gonna add this wall once again so that we can remember the separation because I'm pretty sure I wanna make them different colors. It might be controversial, but I feel like it's gonna eat. We should definitely do a double chimney on each side. I actually think I want it to start on this floor so that it pokes out of the top of the second roof and not the first one. Yeah, wait, I like that. That's gonna be the shell of our Gravity Falls townhomes. We'll do Dipper's side first. Let me tell you a little bit about Dipper. Mason Dipper Pines, born August 31st, 1999, is a smart, curious, and adventurous 13-year-old boy as of the finale and is one of the two main protagonists of the series Gravity Falls. Dipper is intelligent, compassionate, self-conscious, and rational, and sometimes can be a little overly judgmental.
judgmental. Dipper cannot sit still and is always looking for the next riddle or mystery to solve. For Dipper here, I have this little like aesthetic board, which I'm mostly just seeing like blue. He isn't the most colorful and I feel like when he wears clothing, he's more just wearing them out of the fact that they're just clothes and you need to wear clothes. I think he even has a line at some point where he says washing, washing clothes, clothes is a waste, waste of time. time. So obviously he's not really too worried about aesthetic. I feel like for his side, I'm probably gonna go more stereotypical cabiny. Maybe shoot for a brown with some like hints of blue in there. So we could go for this like dark, dark blue. I kind of like the blue. It's kind of fun. Let's grab a brick of some sort for his little chimney here. Maybe just something normal and rustic. Let's give him a roof trim of something. I'm not too keen on the color of anything right now. I think deciding on a roof color might help as well. I think I want the roof to be rustic for sure. I need to make this into two different roofs. I'm now just realizing. I don't mind this. I feel like this roof trim is giving like cabin. I feel like this brown roof trim isn't half bad. Maybe I don't want a deck. Yeah, maybe I don't want one. Maybe we should just try the brown for dippers. I just, I'm really not feeling this blue. What if we just did brown? It's not bad. It definitely fits. I feel like maybe I'm not even feeling this chimney. Different roof trim as well. Actually, maybe that roof color is giving more like cabiny, shacky, but I'm like, I think it's the color that's throwing me off. I don't really know. Oh, wait. Why do I feel like this blue is kind of a vibe? Yeah. Maybe once we add some windows and stuff, it'll come a little bit more together. I'm gonna do a pillar or two. I think I almost like it and the orangey accents enough to maybe make the roof a little bit more orangey. Ooh, what about this like mossy roof? Wait, why do I feel like that's kind of a vibe? Maybe adding some windows and stuff might fix some things. Why is this build so hard for me? Even trying to find a door is hard. Let's go with this one. Let me get some windows because those are pretty important. I actually feel like these ones don't look terrible. One of the bigger ones up there. Then I would like to add the little window here from Cottage Living. That one doesn't look terrible. Maybe I want something larger. Not bad. Ooh, wait, I like these ones here with the shutters. I feel like that actually doesn't look too bad. I don't know. I'm having a hard time with dippers. I don't really know why or like how to go about making it look how I want it to, but I think this is going to be the closest I'm going to get to it. I'm going to have a way easier time with Mabel's, that's for sure. Speaking of, I think I'm going to do Mabel's side next before we move on to the inside. This side's definitely going to be way easier. Let me tell you a little bit about Mabel. Mabel Pines, who was also born August 31st, 1999, is an optimistic, outgoing, and full of life 13-year-old girl as of the finale and is one of the two main protagonists of the series Gravity Falls. Mabel is an energetic, fun, bouncy, hyperactive, enthusiastic, free-spirited girl. She is an optimist who skips through life with a braces-filled smile and an assortment of extremely colorful knit sweaters. Starting off with siding, I think I would like to do pink because that feels very Mabel to me, even though I know she likes lots of colors like purples and everything. As for roof color, I think I want to keep it similar to dippers, maybe even exactly the same. I wish they had one that was like this that didn't have moss on it so that we could kind of like contrast the two. I think this one looks similar enough. Definitely a different color, but maybe dippers is darker because he doesn't clean it. There's also this fun one, which I feel like is a little, it's like, it's quite Mabel for sure, but I feel like it's too much. It's kind of a vibe though. I kind of want to do it. I think I'm going to take a risk and do it. As for Mabel's roof trim, I really want to do this like cutesy little girly one. I've never used this roof in my life. It's definitely a vibe for Mabel's. If I moved the house back, do you think the lighting would get better? Oh my God, wait, so much better. What the heck? I want to do like a cutesy door for hers. I think white would be cute. Maybe like the lore behind this build is that Grunkle Stan built them a little like cabin duplex, but they each got to decorate it separately. That's why it looks so different. Oh my God, this is literally perfect. This little like flowered one here to contrast to dippers. Okay, wait, now that I feel like we're doing maples, I feel like it's getting better. Ooh, why do I feel like these ones with the green shutters are kind of maple coated? Yeah, I think they're cute. And I think with a little bit of off camera decorating, here is our outside of our maple and dipper town homes all complete. I added a little totem to pay homage 
homage to the totem that's in front of the shack. Obviously, we don't have like an actual totem pole in The Sims 4, so that's what we've got. I also did add some gnomes per request of chat. So if you can see them, comment how many you can see. We should probably move on to the inside of our townhomes. I think I'm gonna make a rough floor plan for both and then we're gonna get to decorating. Basically, I was thinking this could be like living room, kitchen, dining area all in one, a bathroom, and then the upstairs part could be just a full bedroom. Let's start on Dipper's side. Once again, keeping our little mood board. I think I'm gonna try to go very boyish, very academic and a little messy. You know, he is a teen boy after all. Let's start with the walls and floor. I think I wanna go for something blue, maybe just like a dark blue. Yeah, like this navy color here, I feel like is really cool. And as for the floor, I feel like we should do something woody. Ooh, maybe this from the, what is the camping pack called? It's from the camping pack. First things first, we need a door so that we can remember that this is a bathroom that we need to get to. I'm just gonna add the bathroom door. I was thinking though that we could throw a small kitchen in this left right corner. Let's make our little kitchen inspiration cubes like I normally do. Uh, I feel like we kind of have to do a mini fridge. Like I feel like it's like it has to be done. I feel like there's no way Dipper would have a full fridge. Like he's like, what do I need a full fridge for? It's never full. Ooh, I feel like these counters are perfect. So this, this, I don't know. Like I feel like it's getting to the point where it's becoming non-functional really. You know, maybe we just stick with the whole wood thing and we can make it messy to kind of give it like that Dipper vibe. For Dipper's side, there's nothing really like that stands out to me other than this picture of a boat that we can definitely add. Other than that, there's like nothing that's really like stand out for Dipper to really show off like what kind of decor he likes. Maybe we do this and we give him a sink like so. And then instead of an actual oven, we can give him like a little toaster oven or we can like makeshift our own to make it match a little bit better. Okay, cute. I feel like this kitchen actually is coming together quite well. Before I give him a dining room area, I feel like giving him a place to sit and like watch TV is probably a little bit more important than a place to dine because a couch and a TV in The Sims or just a couch in general also acts as a place to eat. But we do need somewhere for our Sims to be entertained, right? Ooh, I feel like this couch here is quite dipper. And I also love that it's like a little messy. It's got like a little blanket draped over it. Yeah, it's kind of perfect. Maybe we could add some sort of small fireplace. I feel like this one's actually cool. And then we could add a TV. I feel like he's kind of close for there to be a TV. Do I want a TV here? I feel like the answer is yes. It might be a little high, but it's not the end of the world. The one thing I do want to add is I would love to add some sort of bookshelf beside here, maybe using the modular one like so. I feel like it's weird being against the wall here. So maybe we should get one that's kind of like in the corner. Ooh, I feel like this one is actually very dipper. It almost looks like Mabel like made it for him, which I kind of like. I like storytelling in my builds, you know? And it's like a little like pop of color. We can most definitely fit a place to eat, maybe even like at the back of the couch. Hopefully it doesn't block the doorway. I don't think it will. I feel like this wood one matches the best. And we can get these like light blue chairs. I feel like they can definitely still get into the house, right? We could also like throw it up against the wall here. Yeah, maybe that's better. Cause the Sims can walk around the couch this way. Oh, you know what would actually make this more spacious is if we put everything in the corner. Hold on. Yeah, look at how much space we have. Maybe we'll throw this up here instead and we'll add it to the bedroom. It does make the floor plan a little funky. I feel like it it's really not that big of a deal. I also feel like we should have this accent wall here, the brown brick to match the fireplace. Maybe not, we don't have one that matches, unfortunately. As for a bookshelf, I guess we could like scoot one in this back corner maybe. If I scooch over the bathroom door, just to like get one down here somewhere, I feel like would be a good idea. And it kind of matches our kitchen a little bit. I think now we just need some clutter. We'll add a little rug in the kitchen, also a little welcome mat by the front door, might not be a bad idea. Chat suggested we use this bookshelf door and I feel like it actually doesn't look terrible as the front door. Maybe we use it. Okay, wait, cute. I feel like that's very dipper. Like I mentioned before, he does have a picture of a boat in his room and I believe we have something like that. Aha, this here. It's not exactly like the picture that he's got, but it's similar enough. 
enough in my opinion. Or maybe even we can scooch that there and throw this over the dining table. Add a little rug by the fireplace. <gasps> Dirty dishes. Oh my gosh, wait. This like in the sink. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. <laughs> Trying to add some garbage clutter here to make it look like he's got some garbage piled up in his trash can. I'm gonna add a stack of books. Maybe some decoration on his dining table here. Actually, you know what? This can go in the kitchen somewhere. Maybe in this back corner. Yeah, wait, that's kind of cute. I don't wanna add too much decorating because I feel like he wouldn't have that much decorating. And as a finishing touch, I think I wanna change this light. This with candles here feels the most mystery shack to me. So I think I'm gonna go with this. And with that, I think that's gonna be our Dipper Pines living room, kitchen, dining room, all complete. Let's quickly throw together a little bathroom here. And by little, I mean literally teeny, teeny, tiny. This is going to be like a microscopic bathroom. All right, let's start with just like a simple rough around the edges tile. And maybe just like a white and black wall. Obviously, we're gonna be using the wall shower. And then we could put the sink and the toilet, grab a little mirror and just call it there. It's just a bathroom. We just need it for functionality, which means we're done the bottom floor of Dipper's townhome. I kind of wanna do Mabel's next and kind of do like a back and forth type thing. Yeah, why not? I make the rules around here. I did forget last time when we did the outside of Mabel's townhome to show you guys the little Pinterest board that I have for her, which is very cutie, very sparkles. I love the silly bands. Silly bands are so Mabel coded. Stars, etc. You guys get the vibes. Lots of color, that's for sure. Let's once again start with walls and floors. For Mabel's, I think I want to do something colorful. I don't know how colorful I want to go though. I feel like this wallpaper from the pastel pop kit is so Mabel coated, but I feel like it would do better in a bedroom. So maybe we don't do it down here. This is also very Mabel coated. We could do this or even this. Everything is Mabel coated. I like this one for Mabel too, but every time it gets to like the corners, it gets all messed up and it's really annoying. Cause like, what is that? <laughs> Every wallpaper is just, it's perfect for Mabel. I feel like I kind of want to go with this one because I feel like we can add more to it. It's not like too loud, it's like subtle. But, and it looks like she did it herself too. Like it looks like she painted it herself, which I like. As for floors, I think I want to do something light. Oh, we could do a fun carpet though. Maybe this fuzzy pink carpet. Yeah, I like it. For her kitchen, we could do pink. I don't want to lean in too, too much pink though. The purple could also be fun. Maybe we could do the purple counters if we do some more regular floors. Yeah, okay. I want to be able to do lots of colors. So we'll do the purple for the kitchen counters. Oh, I like that this brings in some green as well there. Do a little yellow fridge. We could do it pink. Yeah, wait, the pink is actually so cute. This is looking pretty cutie so far. Is having the fridge there weird? I feel like it's not. Okay, wait, I kind of like this better. I feel like it's more Mabel, more colorful to giving spring. I like these colors. And we have to give her the little bunny trash can. It would be a crime not to. Oh, we need a little bowl for waddles. She has like a little pink bowl. We could throw it over just right here, I guess. Let's get like a cute flower or something to go in this corner and be a little llama. Kind of random, but feels very Mabel. Ooh, a little hanging plant above the garbage can could be really cute. I want more little plants. These literally scream Mabel. Like, are you kidding? And the kitty flower as well. Maybe some kitchen stuff would be good as well. Oh, we have to add the plushies but I'm gonna add these up here so that I don't forget. I'm gonna size down this little turquoise rug and toss it there. I just love how everything looks so like colorful and I feel like it's like almost homemade in a weird way. Let's start to give her a little like hangout area over here. <gasps> Wait, should this have been her front door? Okay, we're making it the front door. Duh, cause like literally that's so cute. That's so Mabel. Back to the living room. I think instead of a fireplace, I feel like she would have like a fun table cause none of the fireplaces are really like fun. Like she needs like a fun table for her TV to go on. It could be this. Ooh, I like the blue. And then duh, gotta have the penguin TV. Any other would be simply unacceptable. The nifty knitting pack was made for Nabel. Nabel? Who is Nabel? So sorry. Don't know who Nabel is.
I'm sure we have a fun colored couch somewhere that we can give her. This one's cutie. I feel like that could work out. There's also this one, which also feels very her. Oh, we have to do this one. Look at like the stars and the rainbows. So Mabel. And we could probably even fit two little chairs. We have these that match, but like they're not very fun. Oh, perfect. Oh, wait, we could add this one upstairs maybe. I feel like these ones work so much better. And it's like a different pattern. Like I don't wanna do all the same pattern, you know? Oh, and the little poof. Oh my God, this is so cute. I love maximalism. There's so many good options. I feel like the freezer bunny chairs are the choice. Oh, it looks like her pig because the spots. No, we're gonna do these ones. Ooh, wait, I feel like this swatch is the best. Okay, cute. I like this so far. We need a fun rug over here as well. A little rainbow rug. Perfect. Let's get like a bag of yarn next to her couch here. I feel like it makes the most sense. She can do some like knitting while she's watching TV on her penguin TV. I feel like we should put plushies on these chairs. I feel like she would have like birthday candles or birthday cards out on her mantle. I don't know why. And some cutie mugs and something like this. I want some fun artwork and we also need a place to dine. We could also add a little like mural, a rainbow here, a little bit more dull. Oh, but right here, I feel like it's kind of perfect. Oh, or should we do the neon sign like the two dinosaurs? Yeah, wait, I want to do the dinosaurs. Now we need a place to dine. I feel like it would go perfect right here. Of course, we also want a fun dining room table. It doesn't have to be the table itself. It could just be like a fun tablecloth. This one here is pretty funky. Do the pink. Oh, and then we could do the little rainbow chairs. Oh, so cute. We could put Waddles' bowl right beside the table. Perfect. There's an art piece that's a pig. It's perfect. Stunning. Let's put it sitting right here. It's Waddles. Let's change this door here to something fun. We could do this one. I feel like it's more Mabel. Oh, this is perfect. Little welcome mat. We have to use the little rainbow curtain. You know what we could do? A backsplash. This was the right choice. It's just subtle, but it's perfect for her. I'm gonna add these cupcake lights in the kitchen and then these cutie lanterns in here. And now we are all done. Mabel's living room slash kitchen slash dining room. I love it so much. I love maximalism. Let's quickly throw together a bathroom for Miss Mabel. Even though it's a bathroom, I'm gonna do hers fun. <gasps> oh my God, just a bumblegum bathroom. It has to be done. So cutie. We'll do the same sink as Dipper. I'm gonna give her a pink toilet. I would prefer to give her a tub but we definitely just can't fit that in here let's add a rubber duck on the oh my god on the back of the toilet perfect let's add a fun little mirror i feel like this one matches she could leave no room blank even if the room is small and constantly damp she's got to decorate it all right this is mabel's bathroom all complete i also was inspired by putting the string lights in here i decided to put a little bit in here as well just a little fyi which means we have completely finished the downstairs of mabel's tiny home we'll be moving back on to dippers and heading up to the bedroom. Well, we don't have much up here for dipper. Obviously you can tell which twin has more my style, but I am gonna add a little railing around here, you know. Did I not have it? Wait, you're telling me I could have had it back there this whole time. I had no idea I could have been doing this this whole time. Well, now we have a little bit more room in each house. Anyways, I don't know why I didn't notice that earlier. My bad. Let's move on up to dipper's room. And then I think I'm just gonna wall this off here just to make it more cohesive and let me add some wallpaper once again i want to go for something blue for dipper maybe actually something with like a design or something this time it could be cool is this too cutesy for him guys i kind of like it but i don't know wait i feel like this new wall from the nursery kit kind of like works really well for him we could do this and then the rest could be the same color as the outside Ooh, wait yeah or 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 yeah i think this is cool let's grab dipper a bed. I don't really know what kind of bed I want him to have. Definitely a double. This one could be a vibe. I could give him like a little mattress like this. It kind of matches and it kind of makes sense because he basically just has like kind of like a futon in the attic. I know this is his own room, but like his room is like, if you look at a picture of it, like I showed earlier, it literally is so lifeless. I feel like this in the corner, like shoved in the corner is very dipper. And then we could put his little bookshelf in here. I'm keeping the bookshelf. I think it's cute. I could just 
put this back here. Yeah. Wait, that's kind of cute. And then we could give him a little armchair back here as well. Ooh, a little bean bag. You can like put the bean bag in front of it because he's like, he likes that Mabel gave it to him, but he's also like, it kind of ruins the vibe of my room. So I got to hide it. We could also add actually like a little like gaming area, maybe. Maybe a little TV like this on like a table. And we could put this on top of it here. Put a little bean bag, just like slightly off turned. A Deepa gaming controller? What the heck? Why have I never seen this before? Oh my God, this like on the chair here. It's literally perfect. And then we could put a little one over here too, like hiding on the bookshelf. That one's for Mabel. This one's for him. We could give him a desk over here, maybe in this corner. We could give him one like this or even the one from the werewolf pack maybe. Ooh, yeah, it's like painted blue. Yeah, wait, this actually is really cute. It like blends in with the wall, kind of perfect too. Let's give him a little computer. I feel like I want to give him like this one. Or I feel like I should give him a laptop actually. Ooh, we could give him a blue laptop. There's file cabinets, boxes of files. There's like this. We could throw this under his chair here or we could throw it like all under here. Oh, wait, wait. I don't feel like he should have this instead of what he has right now. This looks very fancy, very, very dipper. Perfect. We can do this and we can put the little Valentine on his shelf. I feel like this bedroom is so far the best part of Dipper's whole house. I'm loving this bedroom. I feel like we should add this as like a part of the wall. It's like almost like a wall of suspects, but like not quite. We'll do some posters on his wall, like the Loch Ness Monster from the first episode. <gasps> it's Bill Cipher. Yeah, there's most definitely a Gravity Falls fan on the Maxis team because this is, I know it's like the Illuminati, but like it's literally Bill Cipher. Oh, he does have a backpack. He's a little brown backpack in his room. So I'm gonna throw that here. What else? I could pull this forward and then add a little curtain. Oh, he needs a, okay, we can put a dresser here because he needs like functional items in here too, I guess. He just needs something basic. This one works, just like a little gray one. We should get a laundry hamper next to it. And then we could get some more paintings above here. It's Bill Cipher again. Oh my God, wait, he's literally there again. Bill works at EA. What is going on? Why are we finding him everywhere? I'm getting a little freaked out. Bill Cipher is literally everywhere. He's literally in the walls. Maybe something like this. Yeah, we could have this little like, broken mirror here. He dropped it on the way up the stairs. I don't know what to tell you. Ooh, I feel like he would like to have like a little chest thing. Yeah, I feel like Dipper would be into that. Ooh, let's put this somewhere on top of here. Oh, if we make it red, it's the book. It's the journal. Yeah. Oh, it's perfect. I feel like we could put like some shelves above his bed and then we could put like little figurines and stuff. This room is much more like decorated than his actual room is. He has like nothing in his actual room. We'll just do two. I think I want to just do green. I feel like this little Grim Reaper kind of is reminding me of Bill. We could also do a little yellow, like whatever that thing is. Also could be Bill. Oh, here, we can give him like a little penguin. He has a Mabel corner of stuff that he's like, can't be out because um, it's not cool. Maybe Mabel gave him a rubber duck as well. Cool. I feel like it's decently cluttered. And with that, I think this is going to be Dipper's room all complete. I really like how it turned out. I think it's my favorite room in his house. Finally, let's move on to Mabel's room. So I've already got a couple of things in here, as you can see. I'm going to do the same thing for her and just close off this area. Now, this is gonna be a hard one because I don't know what color for the walls I wanna do because there's just so many good options. We could do the ghosts, which is, I feel like a good choice. We could also do the strawberries and the flowers. We could do a solid color. We could do this. We could do the flowers. We could do the polka dots. And we could do this. There's just too many good options. <laughs> They're literally all perfect. I don't think I've ever used this wallpaper before. I kind of also really like this one. It feels very Mabel. You know what? Instead of doing a fun wallpaper, we could do every wall a different color. So like this wall here could be purple. This wall here could be blue. This wall here could be baby yellow. And then one wall this color. I feel like it's like a way to bring in every color. As for floors, let's do the same one from downstairs to keep it cohesive. This is just the bed that has to be used for Mabel. It is so her. I think maybe I'll throw it up against this wall here. And then we can throw this in this corner over here. To make her room a little bit more cohesive, we can add some bedside tables. I feel like these are perfect for Mabel because I feel like they almost look like she put them together. <gasps> we should do two different colors. Yeah, cutie cutie. I like that. Let's definitely put a bookshelf back here. Does Mabel like reading? She likes magazines. So maybe it's a bookshelf full of magazines. You know what we could do instead? We could do a shelf and put all her plushies on it. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, the unicorn's got to go in here somewhere. Here's her little army of stuffed animals. This chair is perfect. This thing is literally like, I need this just as a 
the doll, like this little unicorn thing. I also like this little craft cart. You can put the desk here. This one here is perfect. Give her some craft supplies. <gasps> a bottle of glitter. Perfect. Even though you can barely see it, you know it's there. I feel like this is very Mabel as well. <gasps> this picture of a unicorn. It has to go on the wall here. So many crafts. I don't know when to stop. I want to put these here at the entrance to her room. I feel like these are so cute. Perfect. These are perfect for her. Just size down a little. And she also needs a dresser over here. I want to use this one because there's like painted stuff on it. Yeah. We need a bed for waddles. This one here is perfect. It's a little large. I mean, if we scooch it, it's fine. Perfect. We should add some like spilt confetti on the ground. Cute. Is there anything that looks like, ooh, a scrapbook? This doesn't look like a scrapbook, but a little journal. This looks like it could be a little scrapbook maybe. This will be cute there. I don't think I can add anything else. I think we've overdone it maybe a little. With that, here is Mabel's room all complete. I love it so much. It is giving maximalist to the max for sure. But with Mabel's bedroom all complete, that means that we are complete completely finished with our pine twin townhomes. If you're still here, thank you so, so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. I appreciate you. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and do all that fun YouTube stuff as it really helps out my channel. If you like the build today and you want to download it for yourself, you can find the townhomes and Mabel and Dipper's room on the gallery under these hashtags or my gallery ID is just RyoSM. Make sure to follow me on all my other social medias like my TikTok, Instagram, and my Twitch where I stream this whole build process live. And if you don't have Twitch or you just want to watch the VODs over here on YouTube, check out my more Ryoa channel. With all that being said, I will see you guys next time. Oh, and bye. Thank you so much to my channel members, Denise, Busra, Stephanie, and Ella. If you want a shout out at the end of every single video and see videos like these up to a day early, you can become a member today by clicking the join button right next to the subscribe button.